Welcome to Beehive Evolution. For the uh, video that I'm going to present to you, it's the Bee Stupid. Um, I want to put a disclaimer. So when I'm talking in that video about the bottles, the bottles themselves will have to have removable frames, okay? And most most areas, there are laws and stuff that they need to be able to take it out and have a look. The inspectors, if they need to inspect for disease, and that's. That's a good thing. This video will have to do with storm crops. I told you I would make one. And also uh, to show, to talk about the bees. You will see on the title, uh, okay, you've, uh, you must have heard about, is the economy stupid? That was a phrase coined a while ago and uh, it's used uh, in the news and stuff like that. So I just coined the phrase, it's the bees stupid. So, and I'm, of course, directing that uh, to me as a um, sense. All right, in this book, again, <coughs> I showed you uh, Keeping Bees with a Smile by Fedor Luzatin, available on Amazon. Uh, there's, uh, he talks about the bees so much. He, uh, this guy actually passed away, I was sad to hear that. But uh, this guy uh, had bees for about 10 to 12 years and never did he um, give them any, any treatments for mites and, and all these types. And he even said in his book, he says, when people ask, uh, what is your protocol? What do you do for the disease? He would find it hard to say what to say because he never did. So the fact that he was successful and he stresses so much that the bees should be the bees of your area and you should cut them in swarms. So therefore these bees have been hardened and they have survived winters and uh, they, have, they will be better bees for you. You can buy bees from a guy which has them in a the shed all heated up and you will take that and not everybody has sheds to put, uh, to put uh, their beehives and you enter it outside and they might not be the right bees that will pass through the winter. So he emphasizes this over and over and over, and um, that's what it is. It's the bee stupid uh, kind of uh, thing. Now, for the, uh, the soaring trap. Okay, I wanna do two soaring traps, which will be this size and on this size. And they will be identical to the, the bottle I have in, the, in that, that one and then this one will be identical to the other hive that uh, I'm going to be making, the jumbo hive for, for, for lack of a better word right now. You see, I don't want to, to reinvent the wheel. I watched maybe uh, 20 to 30 videos on different swarm traps and I came upon one that is uh, amazingly simple and amazingly effective. Just a five gallon pail and, the, and uh, so I'll give you a bit of homework and after that I'll tell you what I'll do with those. Okay, the, the video guy is OK Adventures, how to make a swarm prop and, uh, and, and then he has it very, very cheap. And actually you can make a swarm prop under $10 and, um, and that's good. And swarms. Now imagine now where I, I yesterday I found for, for bees in case my, my bees don't survive, but they're still alive. By the video I showed you a few weeks ago. And it's $240 per package. So if you get two, three, four, three, four swarms in your area, you, you're, you're making money. All right, so once you watch that video, then you'll understand what this is all about. This will simply be what, whatever, and I will put, put the wax that he does and everything that he does. But since it's a bottle, I will have to wrap it, wrap it and do a wrapping. And once it's wrapped, I can pass straps to there and strap it to a tree, all right? So uh, then I will camouflage that because uh, you don't have, you don't want too many reports of UFOs because this stuff is so bright in the sun and uh, even uh, when you work on the outside, if you don't have glasses, it just burns your eyes. So I will put that around, 
camouflage it, tie it with a strap, and follow the same procedures as uh, the, uh, the guy on OK Adventures. All right, so this is it. Uh, thank you, and God bless.